What are we drawing today? We're drawing a dory. A fishing a what? dory. Oh. A fishing dory. Oh. A what? A fishing dory. Fish? What is is that what a is boat? That? Yeah. It's a boat? A fishing oh. boat. So, Jack, next Tuesday, they're supposed to be delivering my baseboards oh. sometime between 8 and 11. Well, so, you hopefully, it'll be 8 o'clock. Right? Can't your husband take care of that? Uh, come home from work to do that? Probably not. You've got to delegate. <laughs> Give him orders. Tell him what to do. I know guys Guys really like that. They like to. Sure, Jack, let me see what you do, <laughs> how you can obey. Well, he obeys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> after 60-something yeah, right. years, Bob don't obey. He doesn't? <laughs> well, then you failed, Marge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's only our first marriage. <laughs> Well, you could get divorced and start all over again, get married all over again. Not on your lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> I see. What are we doing? I'm sorry, I just came in. So We're, do we get a, a peek of the dory boat that you're going to be working from? No. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's see if I can... Pull it and up. there's a there's a real strong shadow on your canvas today or on your drawing paper. Yeah. So how is Debbie feeling? Is she getting her voice anything better? Yeah, it, it comes and goes, but it's getting a little better. It depends oh, if she funny. talks too much or not. Oh, well, I know if you have laryngitis, if you try and talk, it apparently makes it worse, and it makes it worse if you try and whisper. Yeah, I know whispering is bad. I've never had laryngitis. You haven't? Never in my life, if you can believe that. I, that's hard to believe. I've had it, and everybody's been happy when I've had it. <laughs> Uh-oh. There's a lot of sore throats going around right now. It's over. Well, Debbie doesn't have a sore throat. That's the oh. thing. It's not a sore throat, and she has no fever or nothing, so... It's the plague. Right. Well, well, God only knows. I mean, we might have to have 22 shots. So here I was supposed to go to the motels uh, Friday night, next Friday. And you have to wear a mask? No, they rescheduled it till March 18th of next year. Oh, wow. I know. And there were like five of us going. Wow. Well, bummed. And you can't, the tickets are final sales, so, which is okay. I, I'll wait until March, but I was all excited and ready to go see the motels. Well, my plane, my plane ticket to Spain in October got canceled. Oh, it did? Yeah. Yeah, I was going to go to um, the Born Free show, even though I was planning on not going, but now I'm thinking... Maybe I won't be going. I is think that, is that the one at Silverado or by Silver, yep. Irvine Lake? Yes, that's the one. Your favorite but, spot. Yeah, well, I didn't think you were going to go anyway. I was going to, but then friends of mine were going, so I thought I was going to go, and now I'm thinking I'm not going to go. Um, this is stupid. You, you're disappointed, right? Because you were planning on going again? Yeah. Because you've been there once and now you want to be there again? <laughs> I've been there twice. <laughs> what? Why were you there twice? I thought you were only there once. 
What? No, years ago, Kim and I rode his bike in there. Oh. Rode it in on the grass. That was before me. Yes. And everybody was checking out the bike. Monday, that Jack, there's a car show downtown on Center Street. Oh, I know. There's also one in Huntington Beach. Park. Okay, so we yeah, don't. I guess we don't get to see the Dory boat. I, I guess not. I don't think we get to see anything. We're just going to talk. Jack likes <laughs> to talk. We have nothing better to do. It's okay. good. So we are going to draw this boat because I can't find my Dory boat. Oh, oh that's boat. a cool boat. Okay, that's fine. Cool, but I gotta listen to. The, I'm gonna shut you guys down. This dog is barking. So just a straight line, or no? It's an angle. A line at an angle. A straight line at an angle. Okay. Yes. And I'm gonna draw another line from here. For general reference, just from looking at it, I'm figuring that it's about five times as long as it is tall in the back. Five times. Don't don't worry about it. Don't get caught up in that. Okay. But that's that's just generally how I look at things. So this line I'm gonna curve up. So it's gonna be probably twice as tall in the front as it is back here. Okay. I'm gonna curve this up. Okay, let me see how you're doing this. Okay, so our twice is tall. Is that front line going to be um, curved? Curved, okay. You can see it, right? I can't see the front line. I can see the line going to the. Oh, I haven't put the front line in yet. Yeah, I, I know. Kind of a line right here. So this curves around, comes up, and then there's a line here. This part sticks out further. And this is going to curve around to the back. I'm trying to move my hand out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. Had a really nice picture I was going to use. Oops. Kathy's back again. Kathy, you disappeared. Oh my gosh. My computer started making this horrible noise. I'm glad I was on mute. <laughs> it was horrible. And then it kicked me out. So. Uh oh. Time for you. Yeah, maybe. So I'm going to curve this line more. I want a smoother curve. Okay, anyway, I had the really nice dory boats that I took on the beaches of St. Ives. Oh, you're kidding. And I can't find it. Huh. You'll find it when you're not looking for it. Oh, I know where it is. I know where the original picture is. So that I don't have to look for, but it's, you know, I have to drive to Huntington Beach to pick it up. Sitting in my front office on the floor. Oh. Uh, but I know I had a copy on the computer. Okay, now I'm going to curve this around just a little bit. We'll read that line. I'm going to sharpen my pencil. Can you do me a favor? 
can, yeah. can you make your paper absolutely straight on your thing so I can kind of get the, yeah. There we go. Thank you. Thought just absolutely straight, but it's straight. Well, enough. but I mean, I couldn't get, I was not getting the. Because um, I would move it around. Because it was out of, uh, uh, yeah, it was out of weird. Okay, so back here in the back, we're going to draw a little slanted line. And the cabin on these boats is slanted. And this little cabin is about, about as tall as um, front. I'm sure there's a reason for it to be slanted. And I don't know what it is, because I don't know that much about boats. That's the way it goes. It's slanted, huh? Yeah, it's slanted. We got a little window in there. It's definitely slanted. Go to the top out here, slant this down. This obviously is the other side. Does that go? Does it go back? Can you put it up front? Uh, bring it forward. Oh, I see. Okay, thank you. Yeah, this whole thing is sloped. I don't know why. I just know that they make them that way. And we're making the top. And just so you know, and you have somebody to assign blame to, Vicki wanted to do this and she wanted to do a ship. Maybe if I can draw a boat and it comes out good, I can show my ex-boss and maybe he will commission me to do one. But you weren't talking to him anymore. Well, I haven't talked to him. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put the front window in. Curve the corners, curve the corners. I wonder what Deidre is today. I don't have my ruler. Hmm. Oh, you don't need a ruler. Well, sometimes I do. Hang on one second. Yep. I got some very slanted lines. Okay, I'm back. Couldn't find it. So we will improvise. There is my new ruler. Folded piece of paper.
Okay, so I'm going to make the line right underneath this. Not all the way to the end because there's a thickness here. Two upright timbers. There. And there. And what is, what is that? They're the little uprights. So the thickness of this wall. Oh. And over here we have one that comes down. This actually comes down over here, so we here. Hmm. And you can see the top up here and over here. So I ended up not bringing Arlo to the office and you ended up not meeting him. Oh. Yep. That's because Irfan's afraid of dogs. Really? Yes. Is there a frame around those windows? Yes, that's what this line is. Oh. Um, okay, so I'm gonna draw this back here. This is the back end of the boat. We're going to bring this here and around. I guess it's just as well. Harlow has hurt a lot of people in there. Oh, he's hurt a lot. He gets, he's vicious. Sometimes right. it's in attack mode for no reason. So I went into a glass shop yesterday and this lady had uh, a calendar up on the wall and it had two corgis on it. And I looked down below next to her desk and there was something that looked like a corgi, but it looked like a, a big corgi. I guess it was a oh. German, German shepherd mix. It had the oh. same markings, but it was just taller. Kind of you know, I I made my little hut, where I don't know which one to call it, a little bit taller than yours. Does it matter? No. I made mine taller, too. Actually, Sandy, just, huh? Sandy met the corgis. She was in but, class when they used to go. Yeah. Class student in Savannah. So are those uh, boat lines that you put there, are they parallel with the, um, the lines parallel with the it's, little room? No. Oh, they're not? They're just straight up and down. With these? Yes. Oh, they curve around. Oh, they do? Yeah, they kind of curve around. And there's a little pipe up here. There's actually some birds standing on there too, but I don't think you need them. Well, mine's off from what yours is, but oh well. Okay. Oh, actually, Sandy was there when Arlo was there too. Yeah, I was. That's right. And he used to go in on Mondays. What are those things you're doing, working on now? There are just the uh, little ribs in the boat. Oh, I see. I don't know that they have a name, but 
Yeah, just for just... storage and whatever. Huh? No, not for storage. They actually hold the boat together. Oh, I see. Okay. A little tube up there, a little tube up there. Now we've got an antenna. This is way off from what you did, but oh well. So over here in the back, uh huh, it's a round kind of a circle thing. This is the motor. Starting. There's some stuff back here. Poor Max, that mockingbird keeps coming and hanging out over here. Oh. So annoying. Only to him. Well, it's annoying to me, too. Better to embrace his catness and go out and eat him. Better than what? I said he's got to embrace his catness and go out and eat him. Oh. Him down, kill him, and eat him. That's what cats do. This is actually the first year we've ever had mockingbirds, and they wake us up every morning. Oh, yeah. I used to think, oh, how cute. They're, there's birds singing at the nighttime. Oh, but no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's uh, not a good thing. No. Oh, no. That's, it's really kind of annoying. I mean, I know some of my neighbors have been keeping their air conditioning on because they can't sleep because of these things. Huh. See, I never had that problem. You know, they will attack you too. I've I have crows and they're just as bad. I've seen them attack cats. I've seen them attack okay. people. I'm going to darken this line right here. Underneath there's a little bit of a shadow under here. I had a nest of hummingbirds and the crows came and ate them. Oh. That's what roadrunners do. Really? Yeah, they eat hummingbirds. Well, they eat lizards and stuff, but they can catch a hummingbird, leap up in the air and grab them and chomp down. So that, that line that you just made darker, Jack, you just made a heavier line. You didn't do anything yeah, else. That's a shadow. I didn't do anything else. But there is a lighter line here. It's going to come around. I'm trying to not put my hand in the way so you can see what I'm doing, but I'm, this is not working for me. So I'm going to go back to the old fashioned way. Let's draw it. Going back to what? The old fashioned way of this drawing. I'll cover everything, but at least I'll make a straight line. Same with over here. There's another line under here. So hard to draw a straight line. Not if you learn how to do it right. Wow. I'm a stubborn learner. And there's a little plaque here with numbers on it, which is the boat license. So did you give those prints away, Sandy? Uh, one of them. Oh. The rest I'm saving for Hanukkah. <laughs> yeah, your fan thought it was interesting the way you spelled his name. Oh. I was way off. <laughs> yeah, well, I didn't tell him that I was standing there telling you how can to we stuff. see? Can I see what you just did with those numbers, please? Okay, wait, I want to just say, oh, well, minor dots. <laughs> okay, just a second. Um, just wait, give me a second. I gotta get my. Okay. Yeah, it's hard to see them. Well, it's just kind of 
mixed in. So I'm going to add some shadow here. This is not like the perfect Winslow Homer drawing. Oh, I, I was lucky enough once to go to, I was in Chicago when there was a Winsor Homer uh, exhibit. It was amazing. Would make you want to go out in the sea on ships? Uh, no, but it just, I, I didn't, I, I just never looked at his work very much. And then I saw that and I just was, uh, wanted to see more. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to darken up in the front here. Yeah. Mostly, I don't know. He's mostly from Maine. So I don't know why it was in Chicago. From Maine. Yeah. But so is Andrew Wyeth. So it's interesting that yeah. most his pictures are. Actually, I have an NC Wyeth book. Oh, wow. I went to his house. Andrew or NC? Uh, it was NC's. It's a museum. Yeah, it's funny. All of his children are famous. Yeah, even the grandson. Yeah, but the um, all of his kids did something. Yeah. Daughter was a dancer. The one son that wasn't artistic. He's the guy that designed the leader Coke bottle. So every time a liter bottle, you're paying him a royalty. Huh. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing below. Okay, can you stop for two seconds for us to catch up? I will stop for two seconds for you to catch up. It's like... Okay, so there's a line. Okay, thank you. I can hear you. Nobody. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you've had the little Arlo picture. Okay. So there's a little bit of a shadow under this line. It's a light shadow. A little bit of shadow under. Yeah, this is actually white, but there's a little shadow under there because it kind of has been overhanging. And I made a little too thick in one spot, so I'm going to get rid of that. Uh. I don't like this at all. Uh oh. Okay, I'm gonna put a little shadow on the camera here. Okay. So I'm going to shade this in down below. Putting a little ocean behind this boat. I don't know why. Since I haven't finished the boat. Well, 
than this one. And we're going to darken this up here around the keel. Dark down here towards the bottom and it goes in the deep. And then it kind of rounds out. And the dark one now. Can you stop and take uh, so I can take a picture real quick, please? Yes. Yeah. Oops. It should be straight. This is the water. I think it's going to be straight. I'm just throwing in a little bit of water back here. Okay. We got our boat sitting on the beach. And there he is. Okay. 